How's it going, guys? It is 5.11 a.m., 13th of March here in Japan. We have a past level question for pulmonary histo for step one, okay? Now, even if you don't know what you're looking at, there's two ways you can answer this question, okay? Not hard, as I said. I'll just hop us through, not waste our time. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give me a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 68-year-old man, six-month history of fatigue, fever, night sweats. He's lost 15 kilos during this time. He smoked three packs, cigarettes daily, 45 years. Biopsy of a lung mass is shown. Questions just wants to know what's most likely to be seen in his patient. We have a bunch of electrolyte disturbances. Now, many of you aren't sure what you're looking at okay but as i said there's uh, more than one way to answer this question so let's just hop to the answer choices choice a hypercalcemia wrong fucking answer this is not squamous cell carcinoma in the lung okay so pthrp uh pth related peptide secretion from squamous cell will cause hypercalcemia which this is not the case the histo would show you large pink circles which are keratin pearls or squamous pearls, okay? Very buzzy image, which we clearly don't have here. PTH is suppressed in squamous cell carcinoma of the lung. You need to know squamous and small cell, the ones that start with s for central. They are hyalur, central. Squamous cell can also cause cavitary lesions. They show you a gross image, okay, a gross uh, pathologic specimen as in a whole specimen, and there's a big cavitary lesion in it, and it's a lung cancer, which they do on the NBV exam. That's squamous cell carcinoma. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, hyperkalemia, wrong answer. So not related to the lung cancers. You could be aware renal failure, high yield cause of hyperkalemia, uh, Addison disease, okay, adrenal insufficiency, DKA, okay, long discussion, not really in this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, hypomagnesemia, wrong answer. So this is going to show up on you similarly for alcoholics who have low calcium or potassium that is refractory, which means non-responsive to supplementation, okay? So you need a basal level of magnesium for PTH secretion. You also need basal magnesium to prevent potassium wasting in the kidney. So they'll tell you an alcoholic has a low calcium, barely went up with supplementation, that's hypomagnesemia. And the reason it's alcoholics, nothing to do with impaired absorption, it's just dietary deficiency, they fill up on alcohol. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, hyponatremia, is the correct answer. So this is a very buzzy histo slide for small cell bronchogenic carcinoma, which is showing us basophilic cells. Basophilic means purple. These are highly basophilic. Now you say, well, that's really weird. I'm supposed to know that. Yeah, you are. Okay, so when we talk about histo for step one, not high yield overall, but there's a few images you do, you do need to know. And as I already mentioned for hypercalcemia here, squamous cell, they want the pink circles, okay, the squamous or keratin pearls. Well, you need to know that small cell bronchogenic carcinoma, okay, dense basophilic purple cells, which can be described in a vignette, weirdly enough, as twice the size of lymphocytes, OMG, okay? You think twice the size, that doesn't sound small, that sounds large. Not my opinion, okay? It's how they can describe it. Small cell can cause SIDH, cause hyponatremia, aquaporin insertion in the kidney, free water reabsorption, can secrete ACTH, cause Cushing syndrome, can cause Lambert Eaton syndrome, so secretion of uh, antibodies against presynaptic voltage gated calcium channels can cause cerebellar dysfunction, neuropathy, anti HU, anti YO antibodies. So, as I said before, squamous and small cell are both central. They both start with the s sound, okay? Hyler. Whereas peripheral lesions, large cell, which by the way is non existent on US simile, adenocarcinoma, okay, those are peripheral or apical lesions. So, real quick, Hypophosphatemia, wrong fucking answer. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this clip, there's more than one way to get this question right if you don't know the histo. Now, it's not complicated, but let's say hypothetically you thought maybe this is squamous cell carcinoma and you thought, okay, PTHRP would cause hypercalcemia. Well, if we had high calcium, wouldn't we reciprocally have low phosphate if we had the action of PTHRP in place? right? So, I mean, it functions as PTH, 
So it would cause reabsorption of calcium in the late DCT. It would prevent the reabsorption of phosphate in the PCT, among other functions. So you know that hypercalcemia is not right uh, because hypophosphatemia is also listed. So you can't have two correct answers for this question. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.